Hi folks, Dan from the Semper Paratus Outdoor Channels. Uh, I have to apologize to you guys for the uh, pretty lackluster lack of videos within the last two months. The weather's been getting a little rough here and I've been trying to look for the uh, perfect indoor spot to film some videos for you guys. But, you know, I'm coming to realize that a less than perfect video is better than a perfect video that never gets filmed. That being said, today we're just going to take an initial look at the Helicon Tex Mark II belt rig. The Foxtrot Mark II belt rig from Helicon Tex is a combination uh, butt pack and has a uh, padded wings on the side here. The entire uh, assembly is supported by a each style harness. This is just kind of an initial uh, look at it. Yes, the tags are still here, and there's a reason behind this. I actually don't own this uh, belt rig. This is a loaner from uh, my buddy Wayne over at Wildfire Knife and Tool, and I really don't want to scuff this up before Wayne gets a chance to play with his new toy. The body of the pack is made out of 500 denier cordura and this particular one is in coyote brown. The colors are available for the belt rig are five colors. Adaptive green, black, coyote, olive green, and shadow gray. So starting with the main compartment of this. We have dual slider zippers on either end of the uh, main compartment. So if you didn't want to run an actual hydration pack, you could. Looking at the main compartment here, we have a little bit of padding that goes along your back and it also pads the main compartment so that you can put things like electronics and optics without them uh, getting crushed if you should happen to accidentally lay on top of them. So the top of the pack has a zippered mesh compartment that can be used to store small items. Also, if we look at the front of, or I should guess, the back, since it's going to be behind you, of the main compartment, there's also another zippered mesh compartment that allows you to put other small items in there as well. There's a big old carry handle at the top of the uh, main compartment here that allows you to pick up the entire rig one-handed if you should happen to leave it on the ground. And along the sides are two elastic water bottle pockets with a bungee cord and a cord lock to cinch them down. On the front of the main body of the pack, there's another front pouch that's secured with a hook and loop. And on the inside of that pouch, there's a small pack cloth divider, so you can put small things like a one half inch ferrule rod, pens, and other things that you want to keep organized and readily accessible. Looking at the bottom of the rig, there's a pair of uh, three-quarter inch webbing straps with ladder lock buckles that can be cinched down. And they also have little Velcro keepers that keep the uh, excess webbing managed. And you can use this to put down a uh, foam pad, a sleep roll, or you can use it to tie up a jacket. If we go back to the top of the pack, 
I forgot to mention that there is also a bungee cord, elastic cord here, that's got a cord lock on top of it in case, once again, you want to put uh, bulkier, lightweight items such as a jacket or a uh, poncho. Moving to the sides of the uh, pad, there's a couple of padded wings that go up against you here. And on these uh, padded wings, they have molly loop webbing here that you can wire various things on. I also did notice that for some reason, the top two webbing spots are not tied down to the main body. And I was kind of curious about that. But then I finally figured it out. It's so that you can take your ax or your machete and just let it slide on through. So it's basically has the ability to put molly pouches on the front, but also has the ability to slide things and allow them to pass through. The pack is held to your waist by a two inch nylon webbing here with a pretty uh, beefy two inch side release buckle. And the weight of the rig is held on your shoulder with double layer two inch webbing. And it also has a nice three quarter inch sternum strap. All the webbing is adjustable for length. So it can fit people of different heights or different ride heights because some people are going to want to ride the uh, rig higher than lower. So if we look at the back of the rig, there's a little bit of webbing here. And what I suspect you can do with this is you can add another hydration pack up on this if you wanted to. Looking at the underside of the straps here, we have a really nice touch. It's a little bit of a breathable mesh so that your sweat doesn't build up underneath your shoulders. The two side bottle pockets are again made out of 500 Dera Cordura, but they do have a strong piece of elastic sewn to the top of them. So they can accommodate quite a large selection of uh, bottles for all your uh, important hydration needs there. So for example, a blender bottle, a 28 ounce Powerade bottle, a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, which is pretty much the standard for most outdoors people. And most importantly, it can also accommodate a 750 milliliter bottle of Pendleton whiskey. Well, here I have the uh, Mark II Foxtrot all loaded up for a fun day in the woods here. So I have the two inch waist belt right here, little sternum strap, nice comfortable straps here. On this side, I have my little tomahawk threaded through the pass-through slots here. And on this side, I have my knife sheath woven into the molly webbing. So let's take a look at and see what we can fit inside of this. Oh, I did forget to mention that I do have my hydration all ready and set to go. So let's take a look and see what I managed to uh, get inside the uh, Foxtrot Mark II belt rig here for a nice fun day in the woods. Besides our previously mentioned hydration on the sides here. And the front pouch, managed to get an Israeli battle dressing. And a two person space blanket, just in case we get trapped outside.
inside the main compartment, I have my little fire kit here. Mash squeeze one uh, freeze dried meal. Alpine Air creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms. Also my cook kit, which contains my snow kit, 900 uh, milliliter titanium cup, my MSR pocket rocket, bunch of hot cocoa and coffee, and finally, a butane canister for the stove. Uh, the Foxtrot Mark II belt rig is very, very well put together. What can you say? Everything Helicon Techs makes is just high quality. The stitching is beautiful. The quality materials are first rate. I think this is going to continue to serve some Wayne uh, well, well into the future. I'm not much of a uh, butt pack guy myself, but what I like about this rig is it allows you to carry just the essentials. Without carrying too much stuff. I'm kind of guilty of you know, being an equipment uh, freak like everybody else. I do like my equipment. But sometimes we have to remember that, you know, it's better just to have absolutely what you need, nothing else, and go out and into the woods and have some fun. I'm going to be starting to film a little bit more in the woods for you folks. The weather's been uh, rather interesting here in western Washington. I've never seen a parked car go skating down the street before, but now I can check that off my box. <laughs> check that off my list there. Once again, thanks to uh, Wayne at Wildfire Knife and Tool for letting me take a look at his uh, new uh, belt kit here. Um, go ahead and check out his website. It's Wildfire Knife and Tool and he's just a great guy and he builds quality stuff. Personally, I'm trying to get some of his stuff before he gets too big and famous. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, overview of the Foxtrot Mark II belt kit from Helicon Tex. I went on their website and they retail for about $69.90 for uh, the amount of work, since I do sew myself, the amount of work and materials that are in this kit for $69.90 is really an incredible value. I mean, I'm not sure how they do it, but they do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Take care.